One of my customers needed to trim the ends of these carbon fiber tubes and they need to take about a an eighth of an inch off of the ends. And the tube has to be reinforced to clamp it in the jaws. And also the alignment, we had to do about 50 of these. And so the alignment had to be aligned off of this curve in here because we couldn't align it off the back end because then the tolerance of that overall length would be too great and it would have changed the, the dimensions up here too much where it was cut. So had to figure out some way to, to uh, align it off of this radius right here. And what I did is I set up two vices on the table and we have a T-slot down the bottom of 8020 with a screw clamped in there and that screw is what aligns up with the there you go you can see it with that radius so that's that's the stop the screw is a stop and it's worked really well so far the way i held the 8020 extrusion down was to clamp it in the other vise using this hold down clamp and so that's clamped in there like that and then this just drops in and we're using some paper just to keep from scratching up the two two sheets of paper to keep from scratching up the carbon fiber tube when it gets clamped and I have a vacuum here and also a vacuum up here with a very long cutter and we're just trimming with using the face of the cutter using the flutes this piece of wood gets inserted in the end to provide support when clamping it in the vise Here's the tube with the piece of wood inserted into the end. Now the tube is clamped into the vise, like this, the piece of wood bracing it across, and it's aligned up against the screw. And the screw is being used as a stop. flip it over and do the other side. The reason here is that we're cutting with the, the, the cutting edge is going into the surface and out through the inner diameter. So it's not chipping the surface. 